Hello, my angels. So I just came back from the Dior event. Do you want to see what I got? <laughs> so excited. Okay. So right off the bat, I pre-ordered something. Some of you guys know what it is. Some of you don't. And this is the bag that I received. It was the VIP gray event. I was invited by my SA and um, she let me pick the notebook that I wanted. So I picked this one, which I adore. It says Jador on the front and Dior on the back, but I want you to see the flowers. Like, can you guys see the embossing? There you go. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, it's so pretty, the embossing of the flowers. And then it has the gold trim on the side. But the pages are white. I was hoping the pages would be lined, but they're white. And I guess it's good. It allows your creativity to go. So let's put that away for now. Then I bought separately, if you guys haven't tried it yet, the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. It's aluminum free. Um, somebody told me, because I everything I try doesn't work. Only degree works. And they were like, this works. So I was like, you know what? I'll try it. If not, I'll just use this, to be honest with you guys, for the bedroom. You know, when you don't want anything too strong, um, but you still want to smell good. You know what I mean? Um, so that's possibility. Or I can just use that as like, um, you know, like when your legs chafe when you're wearing a skirt, you can put that there and then it'll smell good when your legs are chafing. This is where my brain goes. Anyways, these are just tips. So this is my free gift. It's the truce. It's called the Trousse Pouch. And that's the black one. I'm just going to be out of it already now. I opened it. And one of the perfumes that I got in the kit, I gave to my friend. So I'm going to be giving this bag away to you guys. Uh, let's see what's in here. We have two of these bags. Little Christian Dior Paris bags. So I just use these to like re-gift stuff. I got the Rose Kabuki and the Rouge Truffle Gar, which I love. The Rose Kabuki is my favorite. It smells like rose. The Rouge Truffle Gar, to me, smells like plums. I don't know why it just does. Plums and like um, pomegranates. It's just a really nice scent. It's a little, obviously, it's a little fruity, a little florally. It's really nice. Then another bag, again. And then this one has Lucky. And Oud Rosewood. And my friend said she wanted the Oud Rosewood. So I'm going to give her that one. Because she came with me and she tried certain scents. And there were some ones that she wanted to get. Oh my god, my nails. Sorry guys. Weird. I didn't do anything today. <laughs> like I just went out. Um, so I'm going to give her that. And the Lucky I'll probably give to one of you guys. Or you know what? Somebody told me that it's a manly scent. So maybe I'll give it to a guy. Then I got the Eden Rock, which to me smells like it's also also very manly scent, and the Spice Blend. And these are just like little mini perfumes, quarter of an ounce. The 1.3 ounces is I think $135, so a quarter of an ounce is like $25. So they give us these samples for picking up the pre-order. And then I'm going to put this away down here for you guys. And then this is what I ordered. It comes like this. There's a CD on top. Then you have this on the side. And then on the bottom you have the 10 different perfumes and then their ingredients. And it slides out and these were customized and I asked for pink everybody else got purple so everybody else's box looked like this which is very beautiful you know but I asked if he could put a little pink in there because I really did like pink and this is what they were able to do for me so they customized it and then I had them write my name on it my repertoire and then oh when you open it it looks like this and then you take off this part and there are 10 perfumes. Now I did give my friend 
because she was with me. She wanted, she liked the Ambre Nuit, which is funny because you guys know I don't like that Ambre Nuit for anything. She loved it and it smelled so good on her. Not on me. Um, oh, there's a little book in here. It looks like a book of poetry. One drop of perfume and you are dressed in Dior, Christian Dior. And then it says, this is in Spanish. A house for the love of perfume. My song Christian Dior is an invitation to perfume every moment of life. Hmm. To offer as a gift or just for you, the collections of fragrances, candles, body products, and accessories make fragrance an art of living. Inspired by the unique craftsmanship of Dior, exceptional flowers, and precious ingredients, the Maison Christian Dior creations are occasions to express a wide-ranging talent of olfactory worlds. And they have it in multiple languages, in Russian, Chinese, Japanese, French, Spanish, Liebe, that's German, L'Amour, that's French. So then what was this one? Uh, oh, Portuguese. <laughs> okay. So the 10 cents are here. The first one is the Ambre Nuit. I gave that one away. Um, and I'm actually going to put the other scents that I have in here that I've just been like all over there. And I'm just going to display them like this on my countertop. Or rather like that. And then I'll just pull out whichever one I want. But as you guys know, I'm using a diffuser. Um, I seem to have put it away from that. I bought on Amazon. I'll put the links below and I just spray it in there. They're beautiful. They look like faux leather. Um, and they pop open like the Chanel one where you twist it and then it comes up and you spray it. And so I've been using that to kind of put away my perfumes, um, and use them as the spray. So right now I have the Rose Kabuki, which is my favorite. So right off the bat, there's Rose Kabuki. Rose Kabuki just smells like straight rose and these all come they're supposedly they're manufactured with the flowers that they have in the gardens and they have gardens all over the world um so they take their flowers and then they use that for their skincare and their perfumes so in case you guys didn't know that now you do and rose is just a very beautiful rose it's simple it's it's very to me it's like a simple rose uh i just said that um just like a it's not a straight rose because there's a little bit of something else in there. All of them, almost all their perfumes have linalool, 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 uh, limamine and geranol. Where's that book? I just had it. That's creepy. I literally, oh, here it is. Nope, that's, maybe it's on the box. Hold on. Here, the box, sorry. Almost all of them. Ambre Nuit. Yeah, Geranol, Linalool, and Limonene. They have BHD. BHT is a carcinogen, so don't inhale it. That's why I put it on my clothes and not my skin. Um, even even uh, Louis Vuitton has BHT in their perfumes. Almost all of the high-end name brands have BHT. You don't need to have it in it, but they do. Anyway, let's not get into that subject. Holy Peony is in here. I'm trying to change the subject, right? So we have Holy Peony, which is getting discontinued. So if you guys didn't know, and you want to grab it, you want to get Holy Peony. It's a perfect peony. It smells just like peonies. It's that simple. You know, so I feel like the florals are florals. The jasmine smells like jasmine. The rose smells like rose. The peony smells like peony. Oh, look, I didn't even know. Look. It's magnetic. Oh my God, they're so fancy. Then the La Colle Noir, I love this one too. This is very florally. It smells, it, to me it smells like a field of flowers. Like whenever you walk by any field of flowers, almost like hydrangeas a little bit. Um, the Colle Noir is beautiful. If you like the florals, if you like the peony, if you like the rose, then you're gonna like the Le Colle Noir. The spice blend, I do not like it all. And it's so funny because we met a bunch of people and everybody loved the spice blend. Why I don't like it, I don't know, but I don't like it. I actually gave, because I don't like it, the guy that I met, 
there, it was my friend's friend. So they went to college together and they were talking, talking, talking. He's a very sweet person. And I, you know, I got the splice bun for free and I actually get, let me put it in here. I actually gave it to him because I don't like it at all. I don't know how people like these scents. It is a very masculine scent. So maybe that's why I don't like it. A lot of people think it's unisex. It's like an opium kind of scent. But I don't like it at all. A lot of people did, though. I mean, I, I asked people, what are your favorites? And a lot of people said the spice blend. So if you like these spicy... One girl said it smelled like cinnamon. I don't like it. <laughs> to me, it smells like orange peels and like cardamom and star anise and all these different things. It's almost like um, when... When people make their own, my, my, the lady that raised me used to make an orange peel tea every night and she would put cinnamon sticks in there, the orange peels. And that's, so that's what it smells like to me. It's not, it's not bad. It's just not my cup of tea. Okay. So that one's gone. Uh, the holy peony I'm keeping, I'm keeping that one. The vanilla diorama. I did smell that. It smells a lot like, I liked it. I just didn't think it was worth buying. For the amount of money because remember eight ounces is four hundred fifty dollars so a lot of people were just buying the eight ounce bottles like my, my friend's friend he bought three eight ounce bottles and he bought two of the spice blend because he loves it his friend bought two of the spice blends as well uh no two of the lucky his friend liked the lucky one for him one for his son um i don't really like the vanilla diorama i feel like it smells like a lot of other vanillas that are out there i don't think it's worth the price i think you could find another vanilla that you like at a more affordable rate um, I'm very particular and very picky with vanillas, but I think people are going to like it. Um, I feel like you can go to Bath and Body Works and get a better vanilla. It's just not my profile. It's vanilla with... What is that smell? It smells like Play-Doh to me, to be quite honest. Vanilla and Play-Doh. But I think a lot of people are going to argue with me and be like, what are you talking about? It's my favorite scent. Good for you. It's not mine. So next... Rouge Truffle God, we just went over. That one to me smells like plums and pomegranates mixed in with a floral. I really like that one um, a lot. I really, really like that one a lot. Then we have the Bois d'Argent. I didn't smell that one. The Gris. That was funny. The Gris um, is a very unisex scent. To me, it has hints of like Fahrenheit in there. But... A lot of people are like, absolutely not. I don't smell that. I'm okay. This is the Bois d'Argent. Let me show you. I can't see if you could see it. Because it's like focusing on me, right? There you go. Again, it's like a... Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. <laughs> It's another manly scent. So let me put these. I'm, I'm putting all the manly ones away because I don't like it at all. Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm going to let that open up because I don't like it. Then we have the Gris. I spent $235 on this, which is not that much. For 10 perfumes at quarter of an ounce, so you're getting, you're paying for 2.5 ounces. $235, which you can get the four ounces for $330 and the 1.35 ounce for $135. So it's like somewhere in the middle. So it's equivalent to what you would pay with the pack, you know, with the additional packaging and the customization for the same amount, 2.5 ounces. This one's not that bad. No, wait a minute. I hate Gris. What am I saying? It doesn't, it doesn't smell bad. You know why? Because I mixed it with something. Yeah, the Bois Dear Jet, I don't know. It just smelled, that does not smell good. It, I can't even tell you what it smells like. I really can't. It's just weird. So a lot of the men in my life are going to be getting... No, it smells like, I don't know. It's not good. There was one of them. <laughs> What was it? It was so bad <laughs> that it smelled like Hooters crabs to me. Like, you know, Hooters, the chain of wings. I always order the, the old Bay Spice 
naked wings, old bay spice. I love that. And then I asked him for a little bit of melted butter on the side because it tastes like you're eating crab with the old bay seasoning, but you're not. It's chicken. I love the crabs at Hooters. I know this sounds weird, but if I get to pick, I always get the crabs before anything. They're delicious. It's a good portion. They're easy to break open and eat everything. And I like the Old Bay seasoning. It gets all over your hands. I like to eat with my hands. I like to get messy. I'm a giant child, right? So when I smelled it, I'm like, it smells like Old Bay seasoning. And she's like, Myra. And then she smelled it and she's like, it does. I don't know how anybody wears that. Yeah, no, the, the Bois, Bois d'Urgent, there's no, I can't. I can't tell you what it smells like. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. And I don't smell it. The green is growing on me now. After me not liking it, I would never wear it. I mean, it's just not bothering me the way that it used to bother me. The green is just a unisex scent. It, it has a subtle hint, hint. Like, you know, when you smell Fahrenheit, you're like, whoa, that's too much, you know? This has like a hint of it. Like every so often you get a waft of Fahrenheit and then it just turns into something else and you get a waft of Fahrenheit. So it's like, smack, you know, <laughs> it's like, I don't like it. A lot of people like the Gris. I'm definitely not keeping that. I'm probably going to give one of the Gris to you guys. I think I did. I put a box together. So I am doing a giveaway. I haven't decided what number it's going to be, but if you want it, just let me know. Where is it? <laughs> Here, hold on. Okay. So, I bought four lipsticks from some place. I can't remember where. And they were from the Mini Ardour. Right? So, I have this box, but that's not what's in here. So, what I did is I, I did this. I made a box for you guys. Where it's going to have the Gris. This little pouch. The Dior pouch. The white pouch. And then there is a Capture Total Serum. Three milliliters or 0 0.1 ounce. The Dior Le Micro Wee de Rose in a 0.17 ounce or 5 milliliters. And then my favorite, which I should be keeping and putting in my travel bag, is the Dior Prestige Le Creme. That's my favorite. The 5 milliliters, 0.17 ounce. So I put together this little kit for you guys as a giveaway. So if you want it, just write the Gris Dior giveaway box. And at some point, when I'm doing the giveaways... I'm just going to be like, okay, today you have to watch all my giveaway videos if you want to find out if it's you. Because I don't contact you and say, hey, you won. I don't do that anymore. Because I'm noticing that some of the people have unsubscribed. And when I do that, they get the prize and they're not subscribed anymore. So I don't do that. You have to watch the giveaway videos to see if you won. And you don't even have to watch it. You could just click on it and then go to the description box. And I always write the winner on the top. You know what I mean? And what the, well, not what the prize is. So if you're the winner, then you have to see what the prize is. But if you said that you wanted it, then you'll know kind of like what it was. And then I'm going to put a little note in here, like a handwritten note. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it's going to say. So this is going to be something I'm giving away. So I put that there. So I, I do have another Gris here. Um, the Jasmine, I love. We're going to put that here in the front. The Rouge Trafalgar. So for right now, there's only four out of the ten that I like. Let's do more. And then we have the wee, wee, the oud, oud ishapan. We've tried this. I don't think I like it. So right now I only like Holy Peony, La Cole Noir, Jasmine de Agnes, Rouge Trafalgar, and let's see if I like this one. I didn't like the Spice Blend, Bois d'Urgent, Vanilla Diorama, the Gris, or the Ambre Nuit. I, I paid for the experience. this one either. So I really only like four. And they didn't even give me the mini samples of anything that I like. So I mean you can't it's a this is horrible. If you like oud, you might like it. This is a very strong oud. So obviously there's oud in it. There's like these weird scents. I don't know how to describe them because these are, they, they have things in them I'm not familiar with. So I'm left with this. These are the only ones that I liked, <laughs> but I had a lot of fun with my friend Stephanie. Oh, it says CD on the inside too of the box. 
You can't see it getting it. Mm. Well, it does. So I'm going to close this, and I'm going to put the, the sample sizes that I have that I like. I have another Holy Peony. I think I have a Jasmine. No, I, I don't know if I have a Jasmine. I know I have a Holy Peony. I have another Rose Kabuki. Where's the Rose Kabuki? Oh, that was in the other one. That was in this one. So if you guys haven't seen, this is still available on the website. Um, I don't know if it's going to be available by the time you see it, uh, this video, depending on when you see it. But this is the Lunar New Year um, Discovery Set. So I'm actually going to put some of those in here, and I'm just going to leave this as a box. This one had a lot. I liked five of these. These are the ones I liked. So it was the Lucky, the Jasmine, the La Colle Noire, the Holy Peony, the Rose Kabuki. So yes, I know. I spent like $500 on perfume. And I really only liked half of them. <laughs> never again. No, I'm, I, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I would never buy a Christian Dior perfume other than the Rose Kabuki and the Pure Poison. I love Pure Poison. It's my, I've been wearing that since high school. It's one of my number one favorite perfumes of all time. I love Pure Poison by Christian Dior. I really like a lot the Rose Kabuki. They're discontinuing the Peony, so if you wanted to get that, I highly recommend grabbing that now. They had a really a really nice one that I fell in love with called Happy Hour. That's discontinued, completely discontinued, so you better get your hands on it if you love it. Um, so it's just really interesting. So my, my profile, that's what my scent profile is right now. And then the Lucky. Did I have another Lucky? I think it was the spray. So this is what my, so I, I emptied this out and now I'm just keeping the box in the back for background. And then, so now this is what I have. I have another Rose Kabuki. I'm going to put it in there, but that, that was, these, those were free. So I'll, most of the perfumes that I get from Christian Dior, I give away because I don't like them. They're not bad. Like the Ambre Nuit, when my friend tried it on, she smelled so good. But when I tried it on, it smelled like the spice blend. So my pheromones or my chemicals made it spicy where hers brought out the amber. You know, so it was very different. Everybody's different. So I don't like those scents because on me, they're not flattering. Everyone's like, you know, um, but the ones that are flattering are good. Now, Lucky is really nice. I don't think I would ever wear that out. To me, it smells like Ireland, like what I imagine Ireland smells like because it's green and it's near the ocean and it, it's, it's a beautiful, lush kind of meadow scent. It's really nice, but I don't like the way it smells on me to wear it out in public with my pheromones, but it's something that I might wear around the house if I wanted like to put a fragrance on, but I, you know, it's just for me. There's a lot, if you watch my videos, you're going to see I have just for me scents. My favorite number one just for me scent is by Sicily, S-I-S-L-E-Y. It's called Izia, I-Z-I-A, La Nuit, L-A-N-U-I-T. I wear that every night before I go to bed. I bought it specifically to spray on myself and then fall asleep to that scent. I love that scent. It, to me, it's also a very nice bedroom scent, but it's not something I'm going to wear out in public and have people smell me. I, it's just not. I would wear Pure Poison or uh, YSL Libre. I always get great compliments with YSL Libre. But YSL Libre doesn't smell the same on me like it does on like other people in my family because, again, your body chemistry is going to bring out different notes of that particular perfume. So I really love La Perla, Just Precious. Um, there's another La Perla that's right there. I can't see. I don't remember what it is. Um, Hanai Mori Butterflies. Uh, Kenzo Amore, the orange bottle, and uh, La Perla Jamais, I think it is. I have three La Perla perfumes right in a row. I like La Perla a lot. I like Isia by Sicily. I like a lot of their perfumes. Um, and then just the Rose Kabuki and the Christian Dior Pure Poison are the only ones that I would, I would ever buy and pay money for out of this line. I do like the Jasmine a lot. But I'd rather just wait and get free luxury samples when I buy over $100 worth of stuff than to sit there and actually invest my money in that particular perfume because there are other scents that I prefer more. 
So this is my honest review of how I feel about the Christian Dior perfumes. I love my box. I love it. So pretty. So pretty. Um, and I am going to put it on my counter like this because I, 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 there's no point in doing this because it's just takes up too much counter space. So like that, and I'm going to take the other Rose Kabuki I have and put it in there. I think I have another one. I think it might be the Jasmine, but I already have two of the Jasmine. Yeah, I, th I think it is. So then I'd have three. I don't know. I have to go see. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's what I experienced today. The drinks were really good. They had a champagne or, pros or it could be a Prosecco. I don't know. It was, it was sparkly. Uh, they had something that with vodka with a big piece of ice in it and then they kind of stamped the CD on top. That was just a waste because there wasn't a lot of liquor. So you had like a few sips and then, or beverage, a, a few sips and then it was, the rest of it was ice. It was, it was a nice thought. It just not good practice. Like I think they should have had less ice, more drinks instead of you having to go back every time because like you went through the drink before anybody finished their champagne because there was so little liquid in it because the ice was so big. It was weird. Then they had this purple uh, gin thing, which I could not even smell. But if you like gin, I think you were going to like that. Those are the options. Then they had three appetizers. They had one that was like a crispy, kind of looked like a purple leaf, but it was actually tasted, tasted a lot like a shrimp potato chip. What are those? The shrimp crackers that they have, the Asian shrimp crackers, but just a very long, thin one. And then the other one they had was an ubi kind of ball um, over a piece of chocolate. So that was more of like a dessert kind of feeling. And then they had this cream, which I only had one of. And I was, I kept looking, where is it? Where is it? And it, and it was like a hard shell and inside there was like this cream. But the cream to me tasted like it had like a, a sense of seafood almost. Like it was like a cream that you would put on top of like a salmon or, you know, so there was like a hint of like some type of seafood in it in the cream. It was really nice. I liked it. Um, and then they had like a wall of all of the perfumes so you could smell them all. And they like divided them by category perfectly because all the ones that I liked were on two shelves and I didn't like anything else. So they like knew that if you like this scent, then you'll like these scents kind of thing. So then it allowed me to try two other ones, but I didn't like them, um, at all. So the Oud, you're going to have to, I'm sorry. You're just, I, I'm not good at ex, ex, describing the Oud Ispahan or the Bois d'Urgent. For some reason, they're just, I can't find what the notes are because they're not notes that I'm familiar with because these are not scents that I would ever wear on my body or in my life, you know? <sighs> to me, it's a little bit of Play-Doh. The Bois d'Urgent. It kind of reminds me of a little bit of Play-Doh. The Gris growing on me. I think maybe because it was all throughout the event and I kind of got used to it. Um, if you guys do like my hair, I am wearing extensions by Dory's. D-O-O-R-E-S. I'm going to promote her every time I wear them because I really love these extensions. Like even my best friend, who's my best friend, was like, it looks like your hair. Like it blends so well with you. And I was like, thank you. I'm hoping, if you're listening, that she sends me the longer ones because <laughs> I want to see what I look like with longer hair. I'm actually going to write her and be like, look, if you guys do very well, can you send me the same one? Because I think these are the 16 inch ones. Um, I, and then they have a 20 inch one. So I would really like to see what I look like with the 20 inch. And I would do two rows. I would do one row of the 16 and the other one of the 20 so that they blend into each other because it's going to be a big difference from this, my hair and the 20 inch one. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to see, and then I'll, I'll wear all three. Ooh, I'm going to, I'm going to pitch it like that. That's how I'm going to pitch it. <laughs> hey, how about you send me the 20 inch ones and then I'll wear two rows and I'll show people how you can multi-layer. Thanks guys. Thanks for that moment. <laughs> but yeah, so I had a lot of fun. It was great. I'm actually going to make a few more videos probably in this outfit. I might change my shirt because I have, uh, well, you know what I am because I just bought well, I didn't buy. I did another collaboration in case you guys like the Temu hauls with Temu, but for plus size clothing. So they sent me five pieces. I'm going to go try them on right now and then make a video. And I guess I'll wear those as tops for the other videos. My real, real Fendi peekaboo bag in tan came in. So I'm going to make a video on that. That's coming up. And there was something else. Oh, 
Uh, I'll just show you and then I'll show you again if I could find them. Nope. I don't know what I do with it. But I did buy when they do pop up. Um, and I suggest you guys do that too if you want. Vivian Westwood. You know, like her logo. Um, with like the Saturn and then the cross. I bought like these little CZ kind of earrings that are Vivian Westwood because I wanted something of hers, you know, now that she recently passed and that was like my favorite, you know, like I didn't really like anything else. I love her clutches, the big long clutches with the big, um, gold Saturn with the, st but I couldn't find anything like nobody's selling it. You know what I mean? So that, that's something that I definitely would have would have uh, gravitated toward and bought instead of the earrings, but I couldn't find it anywhere. The one that I wanted, it's like a red one and it has the gold. If anybody sees it, it's a long red leather clutch like this. And there's a gold, the Saturn with the little cross on top, just on one corner of it. And not, you know, the rest of it's just leather. And that's the clutch that I'm looking for. So if you find it, send me the link and I'll buy it. <laughs> um, if it's from a reputable source, of course, you know, all right, you guys until next time. If you like my vibe, please subscribe. If you like my style, come back for a while. If this helped you figure out if you like these scents or like remember the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant, try it. It's aluminum free. Um, I have to use Degree because my body odor comes from sweat. It's like sweat activated odor, heat activated odor kind of thing versus like there's, there's different types of that. Um, so that's the only one that works for me. And then if you do like these spicy cardamom kind of scents, there was this, somebody gave me this. I'm not going to do a review on it. Maybe, I don't know. I'll do a review on Influencer. The Evie Loam. It seems like a very natural kind of cleanser for your face. Um, it's a gel balm cleanser. And it has a hybrid gel to balm formula enriched with our iconic signature blend of clove, eucalyptus, hops, and chamomile oil that gently and thoroughly removes all traces of makeup and other impurities, fortifies with a high dose of shea butter and grapeseed oil for their intense moisturizing benefits, leaving skin feeling soothed and nourished. So if you guys have never tried this, this is a pretty cool cleansing balm. Um, Eve Loam. I do think it's interesting. And it goes like this, but you have to like that scent. Ugh. I'm not a big fan of the scent. I do like the way it cleans my makeup off though. So I'm willing to trade one for the other if that makes any sense. And then I just run and put on like a face cream that I like that has a scent that I like. And then I spray the La Nuit all over and ba-bam, I'm ready to go to bed. Um, but that's what I have for you guys. Until next time, bye.